Last thing to look at is the parts list filtering. So when you're working with an assembly, you might have different needs of taking your parts list and tweaking it. Maybe you have a general arrangement that shows everything. Then you might have a second or third sheet that is purchased items only, and you want the parts list to reflect that. If you double click on your parts list to edit it, brings up the parts list editor. Top left hand corner, there is a large icon to apply some filter settings. This allows you to say, well, let's only show any items that get ballooned. So you could go ahead and pre-balloon the items and your parts list will filter based on what items you've ballooned. You could filter based on a number range. You could filter based on purchased items. So if I apply that and say purchased items only, you'll notice my parts list gets condensed to only display or only list the items that are purchased. Now for the ballooning part, I have to go through here and manually balloon those items, or I could use the auto balloon, but it's not going to pick up purchased versus not purchased.